Hello, Speaker YMCA. I'm Jen, your Health and Wellness Director, and I'm here with Ashley and Jill. And we are in our new chapter of our next set of videos here while we're being in quarantine, um, our instructional videos. So we're going to kind of break things, some things down for you a little bit, fo focus on some stretches, focus on some muscle groups, things like that, just to send you home with some more knowledge and things to do. I know if you're a runner or do a lot of lower body exercises, you might be kind of curious how to isolate your hip flexors, your quads, your hamstrings, other than just the basic stretches that you see us do in class all the time. So between the three of us here, we are going to show you some of our favorite stretches just focused on the lower body. So we're going to start with our hip flexors, quads, hamstrings, working into our calves and our shins as well. So a little slower pace today, you guys. Just an inst instructional video, if I can even say this right. We just got done doing our legs challenge number two and I'm still out of breath. So if you have not done any of our legs challenge videos, it would be perfect to do those before this video or right after so you know how to stretch out those legs so you can walk the next day, all right? So we are going to start out with our hip flexors here. Ash is gonna start us out with the first um, stretch that is one of her favorites. So Ashley, take it away. All right, we're gonna come down to your mat or to your floor um, into a lunging position and bringing that knee down. And then you're just gonna lean forward into that front knee so you feel a good stretch on the front side of that hip. And that's really, you know, all there is to it. Pretty simple. We do. Excellent. So Jill, do you want to take us through your next one for hip flexors? Yes. We'll stay on our mat. We'll come to our back. Whatever leg you start with, you're going to bring it up while the other leg is bent. Then you're going to bend that knee, or bring that ankle over your opposite knee, and just hug that knee into your chest. Oh. I could lay in this position forever. Ever. Excellent. I never knew what this one was called until I started yoga. <laughs> it is a very common stretch that we do in yoga as well, um, also known as our reclining pigeon. So um, that's another great one. For mine, you are also going to be reclining. I will demo this one. The girls probably won't be able to attend this one with me because you will need your bed or your couch. So for those of you that aren't as comfortable getting down to the floor and you still are chronically tight through that hip flexor, this is a good option. Um, sitting on your bed or your couch to start, that leg you're gonna focus on is going to come back a little bit. And then as you can control laying down, it's gonna really focus on that stretch. You may also feel it in your quads as well, but you can lay all the way back in your bed, let that one leg hang off of the floor, your Intensity through that stretch will also depend on how high your bed is to how low your bed is. And also guys, remember these are just demos. Please make sure you stretch on both sides. All right, our hip flexor stretches. We're going to be moving on to our quads. So again, Ashley's gonna start us out with her quad stretch. So down on your mat again, this one is not for those who have any kind of like knee or hip issues. So just be careful as you're getting into this one because um, you are gonna come up on your knees and then you're going to turn your feet out just slightly so they're on the sides of your hips. So I know for some people that position's not going to be very comfortable. So these girls will have some other stretches for you. And you're going to put your hands behind you and you can slowly walk back. If you feel a stretch here, feel free to stay there. Or you can come all the way down on your back. That's where I feel the best stretch. I'm trying to push my knees down and my hips up. But again, wherever you start to feel that little pull or that little stretch is where you can stop. Don't try to go past that point. And be careful of your lower back on this one as well. <laughs> you doing okay? Yeah. Like Ashley could be there all day. I know. Really never been in that kind of position. <laughs> Excellent. All right, Jill, I'll, I'll let you work into your quads. Okay. We're going to be coming to our feet pretty kind of I feel like it's basic stretch but I still feel like it's super beneficial for me just grab an ankle you know point that knee down and push those hips forward feel a nice stretch helps with your balance as well and that's pretty much it I still love that stretch 
So I'm going to kind of piggyback Jill's here a little bit, um, a very similar stretch to hers, but we're going to be in a sitting position. So this is for those people that might not feel as comfortable being on one leg. You can always go to the wall for support, but if you still have a little balance issue and feel comfortable coming down to the floor, or you can do this one in bed as well or on your couch, you're going to be laying on one side. And again, it's still grabbing that ankle and reaching back and holding it in to stretch through with that hip flexor and drawing that hip forward to isolate your quad. Now, if you can't reach your ankle, um, even with Jill stretch also, you can use a strap, a yoga strap, a belt, um, a towel, which I have here because I will be using that later. You can assist that around that ankle and pull that in also. Excellent. So now moving on to our hamstrings, I feel like this is a very, chronically tight muscle in a lot of us. So um, especially I know this for myself, I love a good hamstring stretch. So Ashley, let's see yours. Yep, stay down on your mat. We're gonna come back to that lunge position like you were in that first one that we did. And then instead of going forward with your knee, you're gonna bring your hips back and straighten out that front knee. And then you can place those hands down on the floor or if you have blocks, something a little higher in case that stretch is a little bit too intense. And then you also have the option to, you're, you should feel this in the front of your ankle when you're here, but then you can also flex the foot, pull the toes back and get calf and hamstring. A little two for one. Excellent. Oh, that's all. All right, Jill, on to you. Coming back to our feet. Mine are pretty basic, but I love them. Mine's just the forward fold. Just come down, touch the mat, or however far you can reach. And I always like to put more of my weight onto my toes as I try to bring my chest closer to my knees. I really feel it in those hamstrings. And then just roll your way up. Excellent. What is that? You see, those are basic moves, but I honestly say those are ones that you see all the time in our classes because they're simple yet extremely effective. So, and all abilities can do them. So that's probably, I wouldn't say basic, I would say really readily accessible and anybody can do a forward fold or a variation of a forward fold where some of us, like some of Ashley's moves, being on your knees and things like that might not be for everybody. So it's good, well-rounded view for all of us. So now for me, we apologize for the up and down if you happen to be doing this with us. We're going back down to the floor. I mean, we should have planned that better when we were down, we were down and then we were up, but you know, wide leg straddle here. Legs are going out wide to the side. For me, as a good general feeling for my own personal, like a good hamstring stretch is you really start to feel it behind your knee. That's where I feel like, oh, that's my max, it's slightly painful, but you know, when we've said that before, like that good pain, you can come down, whatever is comfortable for you. You can go forward with this. Again, making sure that you lengthen your spine and fold forward at the hips. We see a lot of like rounding of our spines, which we don't want. So we want nice tall posture and hinging forward with that torso. You can be forward here, like I said. You can also isolate these stretches side to side to the right or to your left. So again, this is kind of one of my go-tos. I love this stretch. Excellent. So moving on here, I need to switch my page. Calves, calf stretch. Ooh, if you're a runner, you're a stepper, you do any of that extra stuff at the gym, calves are always tight. So now that we're going to be getting up walking more, things like that. These will be some great exercises to make sure that your calves stay loosened up so we don't pull any muscle. Go ahead, Ashley. Introduce us to your stairway. I was like, well, I can't really do this stretch in my living room, but if you have a stairwell or even the curb outside, this is a great one. See if you can see my feet. So you can do one or both feet at a time. You're just going to drop your heels off of that stair or that curb. You can do one at a time. Both, just till you feel that stretch. It's kind of slippery on my carpet, to be honest. But if you had shoes on, it'd be great. 
Excellent. I think a stairway is a good alternative too because if it's in a hallway or you have a wall to hang on to or a railing, that's a really good safe option. Um, if you do have some gym equipment at home, a step board against a wall is amazing as well. So um, yeah, excellent. Moving on, Jill, what do you have for us? Okay, so we'll come into like a little lunge position. Ooh, I can see my balance. You want both feet flat on the floor. You want that back leg lifting. And you're gonna lunge forward while keeping that heel planted into the mat. Make you feel a nice stretch right back there. Ooh, doggy. Until my calves are sore. And you can also go up to a wall and bring that front foot just a few inches from the wall and use the wall to push. You might feel a little more intense of a stretch. And that is, that's that. Well, we are going to come seated once again because I didn't plan. And if you have a yoga strap, belt, a towel, again, is going to be an alternative here. If you have something from an old robe. Mini pants, come on. You have lots of options here that you can use so that you can draw your toes back towards your body. So I'm going to take my towel. You can do a single leg at a time. You can do double legs if you like. I'm not even in my picture right now. Um, putting this mostly kind of around your toes more and draw them back. You're going to feel again that hamstring stretch a little bit too slightly, but also getting into your calf. Sitting nice and tall and pull your chest forward, not rounding our spine, but sitting up nice and tall to really lengthen through the whole back half of your body. Excellent. So those are your calf stretches. We have one final stretch for you today. It's our shin stretch. Again, runners, shin splints, all that good stuff. We do still have muscles in the front side of our legs here as well. So let's talk about those. Ashley? All right, so again, not super great. If you don't wanna be in your knees and you have knee or hip issues, you're gonna to come to that kneeling position. This time your feet are gonna stay right under your butt and you're just gonna lean back and slightly lift your knees off of the floor. Oh. You should feel it in those shins. If you feel it more in your hips or your quads, try lifting up those knees a little further and try to keep your butt down. You can also do this one on a foam roller. You can put your ankles up on the foam roller just to get a little bit more range of motion. Excellent. Jill, what do you got for us? Okay, so we'll stay on the mat. We'll come to our side, kind of almost like that quad stretch, but you're gonna grab that bottom leg and you're gonna bring that heel to your butt. You feel a nice stretch right on the front of that ankle. And yeah, that's it. Perfect, we are gonna come back up standing. Don't worry, this is your last little demo for this video today. This is kind of my go-to in a lot of my yoga classes. Just pointing your toe is such a nice stretch up the front side of that ankle and into your shin. So taking that right leg, nice hard point down to the ground. Really feeling that stretch up here into that shin and then you can switch sides. It can be as simple as that if you don't wanna get down to the ground. Shins are a little bit harder to target in certain situations, so but making sure that we do stretch our full body. Anything else you guys would like to add? No. I think that's it for our lower body stretches 101 for you guys today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please always put them down in our comment select section. Let us know what you think about the new instructional videos, if they're benefiting you and your workouts at home, giving you some new information and help you broaden your range of knowledge with these at-home workouts. Don't forget to like, share, hit that subscribe button, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and make sure you share these videos. Maybe there's somebody that doesn't know me and any of us at the Y and it has chronically tight muscles in certain areas or is looking for new ideas and they could benefit from these videos. And who knows, they might end up coming to class at the end of the day. So thank you guys for all your support during this time. Again, we hope you like our new look for our addition to our videos. We look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.